two brand new kits are coming out tomorrow, Thursday, January 19th. We have the bathroom clutter kit and we have the Simtimits collection. No infants, at least not yet, which honestly made sense after we discovered yesterday that both of these kits were coming at the same time on the same week on the same day. So I'm thinking that infants are likely coming sometime later on in the roadmap window, probably more towards February or March, but honestly, I'm not too disappointed. I'd rather them just get the kits done and out of the way and focus on more bug fixes and all that stuff before infants come because we know with them introducing a brand new life stage that there will likely be some bugs and issues introduced with that. And I'd rather them work through some of those kinks before introducing such a big thing to the game. But as far as the kits, we have some sim gurus on Twitter that are making conversation about what's to come with both. We did have the full catalog of assets leaked yesterday for both kits, but now we actually have an image preview on Twitter from SimGuru Ash. They tweet, you know the drill, is it over or under? Showing off some of the new things that are coming with the brand new bathroom clutter kit, bathroom mats, brand new toilet paper, electric toothbrushes, toothpaste, plungers, and all sorts of other things, as well as light switches, which I actually want to talk about for a minute. I want to spend a minute or two right now talking about light switches. So obviously, we know that light switches are just going to be a decor thing. There's going to be no functionality with them, which I guess makes sense because we know the Sims team is probably not going to make it so that your Sims can animate and press the light switch every time they enter and exit a room. That is just super, super unlikely. But what they could do, and it would be really, really, really cool. Do I think that something like this would ever come to the game? Probably not. But do I think that it should? Absolutely. Maybe they should at least give the switch an animation, a dual mode so that you can see if the switch is on or or off. And of course, whenever your Sims leave or enter the room, whenever your Sims wake up or fall asleep, you notice that the lights in the room, if you have them set to auto, will turn on, will turn off. It would be so cool that even if there were no animations for Sims hitting the switch, they still had the switch show in the off or on position, whether the lights in that room were on or off. And it would be cool if you were zoomed in enough that when the lights do go on or off in a room, you actually heard the switch click as it moved on or off. Like even something like this, that would be so cool because we know that they probably would never make actual animations for Sims pressing the switch. That's going to be too much. And honestly, imagine having to do that every single time your Sims enter and exit a room. It would be a lot unless you wanted to manually turn it on or off by interaction without it doing it automatically every time you entered or exited a room. But I just had that little idea and thought that that would be something really cool. SimGuru Ash uploads the cover photo with toilet paper, but not how you think. Toilet paper showing the under instead of over. I don't know. I'm an over kind of person when it comes to toilet paper, but I will say if you have cats, under is a lot better because then you have a less chance of it turning into a crazy tissue mess in the bathroom with toilet paper everywhere. And of course, all of that wasted toilet paper. And in a tweet, the Sims team does confirm that the toilet paper is in both directions. So you will have the option to change that. I talked about this yesterday in yesterday's video, but I said it really, really fast. I want to also include it here as well as show you the tweet as well. SimGuru Ash has confirmed that there will be a base game light switch coming for free, even if you do not buy this pack, which is really nice. I'm kind of surprised. You'd think that they'd keep something like that tied to the kit so that more people go out and buy it because I know that there's a lot of people that will just want the light switches and nothing else. Well, you don't need this kit if you do want it because you're going to have it in the base game as well. I don't know if it's going to be the same light switch or it's going to be a different variant or a different model, but you are going to get one. So let me know down below what you guys think of the kits, if you're interested in buying them or if they just aren't up your alley. I love you guys. Take care and happy simming.